Okay, so now let's go ahead and add the result manager. For the result manager, first of all, we will be needing to create a UI. So in the canvas, let's go ahead and create a UI image. Okay, we can name this image as result UI. And in the source of this image, we will go inside sprites folder. And from the sprites, let's select this ba uh, background or BG image. Then click on, uh, hold down the Alt button when you select this and it will give you these options. Then select this stretch on all sides. Okay. And now if you make the screen bigger and smaller, the picture is going to be the same. Stretch on all sides equally. Now in here, in the result UI, we will create a UI panel. So here it is. Okay, let's name this panel as Options Menu. And let me resize it. So I'm going to click on Scene View, select Options Menu, and select the Rec Tool, okay, and then resize it like this. Okay, so make the right of it 800 and the bottom 400. And when you do that, then select that and make, hold down the Alt button and make sure it is in the middle left side. Okay, then you can move this right here. Okay, now in here we will first of all show our result. So for the result, we will create a UI legacy text. Move this to the top center. There is the text. Okay. What we're going to do, we're going to click on scene view and zoom in it. So this is the text. Then make the width of it as 400 and the height as 100. Then click on top center again while pressing down the alt button. Okay and then change the font size to 45 move it uh, the alignment to center like this and we can select this pixel font font style okay which is this one and let's change the color of it to white and let me tell you that this pixel font font style comes with the asset which we added okay the health bar asset which is this one simple pixel ui it comes with that if you want to use some other font size then you are allowed to use it but i'm going to use this one okay so this will be our result text okay you can also name this as result text then after the result text we need to create a button which will move the scene back to the main menu okay so for that what we're gonna do is in the option menu we will create a ui legacy button okay and from this button remove this image okay you can disable it because we just need the button all right let's resize it so i'm gonna make the width 300 and the height as 90 okay and it will be in the middle center then if you go in the button there is the text the text will be main menu change the font size to 35 okay select the pixel art font and make the color white and that will be it for this button we just need to change the button name to pick to main menu all right you can also select the button and change the highlighted color to a little bit darker and the pressed color even more darker and the select color even more okay that is it what we will do now is as you know that this option menu is a panel so i'm going to now 
remove the image from it okay i have added this image so that we only create our menu or you can say text manager ui in this whole area okay we don't move out of this area so now we can either disable it or either make the a value zero or the alpha value zero then you can also disable the result ui because we will only show the result ui when the player health or the opponent health becomes zero okay now how are we going to do that i mean how we will know that if the player health becomes zero or the opponent health becomes zero and what result to show okay for that we will create a new script in the ui folder by the name of result manager then click on this canvas let me close the player characters opponent characters okay now click on canvas and drag and drop this script to it okay then let's open this up and on this script at the top make sure that you add this using unity engine dot scene management then right here create a reference to a game object and name this as result panel okay this would be reference to our result panel then we need to make a reference to our result text okay and since we are dealing with ui so make sure that at the top you also add using unity engine dot ui okay then we need a reference to our player fighting controller script as you know that we have more than one player now and more than one opponent so we need to make this reference an array so i'm going to type fighting controller and add square brackets then name this as fighting controller as well after this we will be adding a reference to the opponent ai script name this as opponent ai but make sure that the o is small okay once you do this right down below we will create a method to display result so for that name this method as set result this will need a string as a parameter name it as result okay and right here we will set the result text to the result which we will be passing to the string so if it is uh, you win then it will be you win and if it is you lose it will be you lose okay and also the result panel will get active so set active and let's set it to true okay and also stop the time so time dot time scale will be equals to zero okay this will basically pause the game then after this we need to create a method to change the scene to main menu whenever we press the main menu button which we created okay so for that create a method by the name of load main menu And when we load the main menu, we will enable the time scale, or you can say unpause the game or resume the game. And when we resume the game, we will change the scene. So we will say scene manager dot load scene. And we want to get to our main menu scene. For now, we don't have the main menu scene. So let's go ahead and create a scene by the same name, okay? so if we get back right here click on scenes in here as you can see we have seen which is map 1 map 2 map 3 so we're going to create an empty scene for now okay where it is here okay make sure that you name this as main menu okay and also click on uh, file and build settings and in the build settings right here at the top make sure that you add this main menu okay main menu make sure it is on the top then map 1 then the map 2 and then the map 3 
that's it when you do that now we will make sure that if it's the player who win the game or the opponent okay and we will set the result according to that so first of all we will check that if any of the player uh, from this fighting controller is active and also if that player health becomes zero okay so how we will check that for that we will add a for each loop and at the top we'll create a fighting controller type variable by the name of fighting controller and we will check inside the fighting controller array which is this one okay and then we will say that if inside this fighting controller if we find any fighting controller dot game object that is active and where it is okay it is this one and if the fighting controller dot current health is less than or equals to zero so if the player is active and also the player health becomes zero then we will call this set result method and as you know it requires a string so in the string we will pass you lose and when we pass you lose we will just simply return and don't move further okay now let's copy this for each loop now let's check if any opponent that is active and that opponent health becomes zero for that instead of fighting controller we will say opponent ai name this as opponent ai as well in opponent ai array which is this right there and then we will say if the opponent ai is active and the opponent ai dot current health become less than or equals to zero so if that is the case we will say you win and we will simply return that is all we have to do on our result manager script okay save the script get back right here now enable the result ui okay if you click on canvas as you know we need to provide these things so let's start from the first one which is the result panel so as you know the result panel is this whole ui okay so click on canvas drag and drop this whole ui in there then for the text if you go in here this is the result text drag and drop that then when you do that disable the result UI again then click on canvas it needs the fighting controller and the opponent AI so open up all of the player characters and opponent characters first of all select all of your player characters okay actually first of all click on canvas and lock it okay you can lock it so that it doesn't close then select all of the player characters and drag and drop it in the fighting controller then select all of your opponent characters and drag and drop it in the opponent array that is it then unlock this and let's close the player characters opponent characters and this canvas as well that is it now if we start the game okay when the game starts here it is now let's allow the opponent to hit our character and when our player character health becomes 20 or 10 I will unpause the video okay so now you will notice that when the player health becomes 0 as you can see it shows you lose and the game is pause okay for now if you click on main menu it will not do anything because on our main menu button we didn't add the method okay so it will not do anything but now as you can see it shows you lose which means our result manager is working perfectly fine okay now enable the result UI again open up options click on this back to main menu button right here on the on click event add a function and drag and drop the canvas in here and then from the canvas select the result manager script and then select the load main menu button uh, function actually or method okay that is all we have to do okay so now it shows you lose now let me attack the opponent 
to test if it shows you win or not okay let me pause uh, the video and then show you the end part so now if i hit the player as you can see it shows you win and a button back to the main menu if you click on it it will open up the main menu scene as you can see for now we don't have any main menu so that's why it is empty okay and now if you close the game it will be on the map one scene so our result manager is working perfectly fine now in the next video what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a pause menu for our game okay for now we don't have any pause menu Okay, so in the next video we will do that.